All right, I'm going to give a demonstration of the uh, automatic lane changing. So in this case, uh, you can see on the center dashboard that there is a lane to our right and a lane to our left, and you can see that in reality also. Although uh, right now the lane to our right is going away, and you can see it's now disappeared from the center dashboard. Uh, what the driver is going to end up doing is he's going to put on his left-hand turn signal, and when he does that, first he's going to check and make sure that it's actually clear both in front to the side and behind him. And then uh, the line to the left is going to go dashed, uh, just like you're going to pass it. So he's going to go ahead and turn it on now, and you see it goes dashed. Now the car executes the lane change. Once you're over, or at least most of the way over, you're going to turn your turn signal off. So you do have to fully turn it on, and then fully turn it off when you get over to the left-hand side. If you only do the partial down and it blinks the three or four times, it will not initiate a lane change. If you accidentally leave your turn signal on, it also is only going to make one lane change at a time. So even if you forget to turn it off, it'll only move one. It's going to keep you in that lane. You have to turn your turn signal off, wait at least a little bit of time, but how much, I'm not sure, and then do another lane change.